My name is Mireya Pecurul, and I work as a social researcher in Solsona, uh, which is uh, located in the middle in central rural Catalonia. And the project I'm going to talk about, it's called uh, Bosco Salud. Bosco Salud comes from a well-established idea, which is using the outdoors and the forest to improve people's well-being. This idea comes from my experience in working and studying in, in England. They have really well-established programs where they integrate people with problems like mental health and obesity uh, into outdoor programs for their well-being. They say or they think that this kind of problems comes because we are lacking more and more from this uh, connection with nature. Uh, now I'm back in Catalonia after two years and I thought that it will be really interesting if we could implement this concept in this rural uh, context. The first thing I thought about is like how to make people engage with the, this idea that it's theirs and it makes sense in their local context. And what I found is that in, in, in rural areas as well, they have similar types of problems. Uh, because people is getting older, lonely. The young people and the young children is adopting more city lifestyles and they are uh, losing the knowledge of the tree names and how to use these plants. So what we did uh, was to implement a little pilot and the first thing or the first challenge was how I engage with local people. So uh, I went out and I knocked doors. I tried to engage with the local hospital and also the local hospital uh, bring into the project the schools, which I thought it was a good idea. It was not the original plan, but in this kind of projects, you have to adapt to what people tell you, how, how, how they perceive what they need. And at that point, Simra came into my help. Uh, they provide with staff support, with a bit of money, if uh, we needed to pay some material or we needed to organize some buses to bring the children out of, of, of the schools into the forest. And I think the good thing or, or the touching thing is that we did that together with these local actors. Uh, we went out with the GP to sort and to find the ideal forest to have this kind of activities. And also with children, they had the power to design the path that later will be used for the hospital to bring their passions and to do this kind of activities. And yeah, everything was working perfectly all right. But then you have some obstacles in this kind of problems. And for me, the biggest one was that two really key persons in this project, so like the director of the hospital and also the teacher that it was willing to enroll uh, their children in these activities, got promoted and uh, went out of the school. And that was before this kind of programs or, or, or pilots were part of the daily routines of these organizations. And that it's something that as an innovator, uh, it's, it's one of the biggest challenges. So how to overcome these institutional barriers, how to get in the idea and to, to make it part of the, of the organization of the behavior. So I think um, what we have learned through all this process is that you need a lot of patience because things are changing and things are slowing down because of this kind of obstacles you get. Also, I've learned that you need to keep going to be perseverant. And now I am considering um, that might help also to make things easier for the people that it's going to implement that. And what that means, that means that maybe it's nice to be participative because you want them to engage with your project. But at the same time, you have to make them visualize the idea very clear that they can commit. Because what we find is that commitment and flexibility, it's a very important um, thing uh, to make this happen. And finally, my last remark maybe will be like uh, this kind of innovation uh, uh, actions because they are new. Sometimes it's difficult to fit them into rural development plans 
or into strategic planning that can really give this support to make that integrated into the organization. I'm Carmen Rodriguez, I'm with Foreco and I've been supporting Mireya in, in her in, in this pilot project in, in Solsona. Uh, basically, and thanks to her like wide expertise in the field, I've been mainly an external facilitator, um, but I also have my own lessons learned on this. Um, and I'd say that it's really important to really believe in the idea and, and know that what you're doing is, is meaningful and, and makes sense uh, in, the, in the area where you want to do it. Because as she explained before, there is many uh, things that can go wrong, things will go wrong. Um, but it's really uh, in order to gather this patience and perseverance, um, I think you really need to uh, keep your beliefs strong.